Alright guys, it's Ash here bringing you episode 6 of the Roads of Glory in the second training episode in this series. And so let's get straight into the training set. As you can see right now I'm listing a walker I got. Putting him up for 2,900. Right, that's for the area roughly goes for, say that, 3,000, 3,100. That's what it normally goes for, but that day, so I'd put him up for 2,900. Try and guarantee a sale in the hour. Uh, I'll get, I'll get Javino here as well, put him up for 2,100. Also get another one, so got two Javinos going up for 2,100. Just because the formations um, limit them to that, really. And then you can see them starting to tr use different things to trade here. I've got a Man Mancini. I think it's like going for 500, I'm 100 sure, but putting him up for 2,100 to kind of get a nice little profit going. You also get this red nap as well, I think it's for 900, putting him up for 2,100, so that would be a little nice profit there, doubling the, going over, double the coins. As you see, I also get a Brazilian manager, 41212. As you notice, this is kind of theme of the managers, either Premier League or a good nationality in a good formation. And you see, I've got again an Italian one, 41212 as well, so putting him up for 950, but. These, these is all that nice prices and actually all sold as you can see making a 6,435 coin profit which is very good if you think about it. it started, I think it started off with 6k maybe 5 not 100% sure on that but I didn't really start off a lot and tried, I was very limited what I could get but I think I made some good deals to be fair 6,435 in the first set is very nice keep that theme up there'll be some nice profit at the end probably like a 20k profit altogether if I kept that theme up but I see I'm just showing you going for the other trade trade set now, the next trade set I got. The main people you will notice really, I got a couple more Javinos, got some matter matters and play I'm starting to learn to trade with recently. I've also got some more managers as well, starting to um, concentrate on them a little bit more, they're easier to trade with. But as you see the first deal I'll get is this Javinho, putting him up putting him up here, just putting him around the price range you're going for at that time. Just I think it's like two thousand one hundred put him up for and then you can see I get the best deal of the series so far, 2,950 coins matter in 41212 formation. I put him up for the cheapest on the market, 6,100, the height, the one just above this, 6,500, so very nice profit there, probably the best deal of the series so far. So also see I put Mancini up for 1,200, a little less than I did before, but the day limited in which is going for because there seem to be less people on and putting the price down really. As you see I'm also getting some more, more managers like Rednap. Um, Venga, I'm sure I'll get Venga in this trade set as well and you get the France manager as well so I'm kind of going for managers who are popular obviously when you build a team you want a manager you kind of know like Redknapp, a Mancini or a Venga um, VS Browers even goes for like a K now, I don't know why because he's not out of a job but people seem to like having popular managers, people that know and I think it's because the shiny ones as well they offer like a contract contracts plus 3% bonus so People must like that. But as you see, just listen to everything up now. Just put them up. As you can see, if that matter will probably dominate the show with if he sold because he, I think it's like a 3k, just over 3k profit. I would have got off him when he sold. As you see now, I'm going to the going showing the things sold and everything did sell, and the total profit I made was 10,245, which is a lot of profit if you think about it. That, that's almost. Well, it's not almost double the last one, not not double, but just below double. But yeah, there's a nice profit really there. As you can see, and just basically just put up some more players now as well, just looking through my trade set, just see what other players I got. But this put this set, I'm just do it different, a little differently. I'm going to talk about the methods I use because some people seem to be confused about the methods I use. The first off, the Javinia method, as I call it. Basically, you buy Javinios for one pace of 200 to 500. Or if you get it less than that, even the money, but that's where you kind of get them from. You should be bidding on them. I'm also buying now and looking to kind of trying to get a cheap buy now. That's what you should be aiming for. I kind of, as you see, I mix it up the series and, and done a matter and wall cut, which is kind of matter goes for like three k and so it's wall cut. So you're kind of aiming for them for two thousand, one thousand five hundred. If you get anything below that, you're just in the money. Like I said about the Javino. But then the kind of players I aim for this, you can do this with any player. Just make sure you look at their average, really your average buy now. And then work out what player you kind of want to trade with, what you're used to, what you can get into. That's kind of what you should be aiming for. Players you know, you could go for a certain amount guaranteed, and mostly BPL goal guaranteed. Another method you've seen this episode really is the manager method, which I'm not going to take credit for. I've seen it on a random fever videos um, video where he's training managers. Basically, all you got to do is get managers, shiny managers, really, just in 
just below 600 coins red nap exception because he's just below a k but then you put them up for quite a bit like 2k and most majority of the time they go that, that italian one goes for a little less but he still guarantees profit and it's kind of a good method to do that actually i'll actually will bring out a new series soon called um 10k training where i show you methods on the 10k to trade with and you will see that method i explain it in more depth to help you kind of use that method but as you see i've listed everything now just going to show you what I what the different like what the prices were just flicking through them just to make sure everything went up because sometimes the trade could not be complete comes up and then it's kind of frustrating because you just gotta relist them and put them in the club to make it work it's just very confusing i think yeah i need to sort that out let's see showing you everything sold now and everything did sell and i made 11,845 that um that set that shows the more money i had the easier it was to make profit because i could buy more things Altogether, I made 28,515, which is a lot of profit. I mean, absolutely a lot of money. Help me get get this series going like further now, getting some better players in the team. But anyway, guys, I'm hoping you liked this episode. Please leave a like if you did. Also, comment what players you would like to see me buy throughout the series. Anyway, guys, peace out.